Well, it's time for our weekly visit with Dr. Zorba Pastor. We'll be taking your calls in the next segment. We'll let you know when to call in. Breaking today, the CDC is now recommending that those with compromised immune systems receive a fourth dose of either a Pfizer or Moderna COVID vaccine. Dr. Pastor joins us from his clinic in Oregon. Hi, Zorba. Hi, good Zorba. to see you. Hi, good to see you guys. So this recommendation is for a very specific group of people. What is it? Exactly. So it's a specific group of people who have a compromised immune system. So for instance, people who have Addison's disease where they have absolutely no immunity and they get large doses of steroids to keep their, keep their bodies going. People undoubtedly who are on chemotherapy and their immune system may be blocked by some of the chemotherapy. Some of the others, the CDC has yet to put the list, but some of the others are people who have had kidney transplants, liver transplants, lung transplants, heart transplants because they're on auto immune drugs that reduce their immunity. So the list is not out yet, but it appears to be that people really need to have this extra dose. And But this is a very refined group of people, and those, most of us, are not, of course, included within that. But for most people, the, the big news is the boost is the third shot. That's what exactly. you should be concerned about it right now. It is the third shot. And I was listening to a guy named Larry Brilliant this morning, very important guy. He was really responsible for getting rid of smallpox in the world. And he said, we have got to look as COVID vaccination as a three-shot vaccination. And that's not unusual. If you look at HPV virus, which we give to young people, that's three shots. If you look at hepatitis B, that's a three-shot regime. And we now know, for instance, that shingles, which used to be one shot for Merck, is now two shots when it comes to the new Shingrix vaccine. So having three shots for this most of it is not unusual. Some people worry that this may be a shot they have to take every year. If so, it's going to turn out to be like the flu shot. But right now, the theory is it's going to be three three shots and you may not need any others unless you have as you said, an immunity that really is compromised. Yeah, we get the flu shot every year. Mm -hmm. No big That's deal. That's true. Right. Right. No big deal. In other words, and if it has to be every year, undoubtedly they'll manufacture it. So you probably get one in two or two in one shot. It'll be flu and it'll be COVID. The real issue is we still have so many people that we have to immunize. And I have people in my office, some of them, especially young men who just haven't gotten it together to do it. They're really not an anti-vaxxer. Then we have 20% who are anti-vaxxers. And then we have people on the fence. The FDA and the the CDC has given it its final blessing. If you're on the fence, now is the time to say, hey, get it off the fence. The data's good. Hundreds of millions of people have gotten the shots. The side effects are extremely rare. You have more side effects driving to Wisconsin on the road in the wintertime than you do from the flu shots. <laughs> and there's I plenty, mean, from the COVID shots. And there's plenty of supplies.